this next story might have you looking up your chimney. <laughs> One woman did, and what she found wasn't Santa Claus. WRHE's April Thompson has the story. I was so amazed. I was, I mean, this, this is like a dream. The only way Harriet Fairley can describe what she saw inside her Atlanta home a few weeks ago. At first, she wasn't sure what was moving in the fireplace in her bedroom. It caught my eye. I wasn't sure what it was or if I had seen something. So I proceeded to get a small flashlight and I went to the fireplace and I shined the light behind the picture frame and two big old eyes were looking back up at me. Not just any eyes, these eyes, big owl eyes. And at that point, I screamed, I ran, I hollered. What did you think? Big, round, white eyes. A huge owl like those she had seen a few years ago on a fence outside her home had made its way inside Miss Fairley's bedroom fireplace chimney and apparently had gotten stuck. Miss Fairley wasn't sure who to call. She started reaching out for help and got the Urban Wildlife Program of Georgia. They sit out Matt Leo, who quickly got to work. He had to stick his hands up there and he saw his feet. He grabs his feet and gently pulled him down because he didn't know if he was injured or anything like that. When he pulled him out, that's when I screamed, Matt was smiling, and he was like, take a picture. And a picture it was, showing the sheer size of the owl. This time of year, we see barred owls falling into the chimneys as they're looking for new nesting sites. So he is completely unharmed, rings are in great shape, and here we go. Look at that! When Matt released the owl, it immediately flew back to its tree. Small mammals, uh, rodents, um, are their number one food item, and there's lots of that in cities. Uh, and they, they do very well living amongst us in the city. But inside chimneys is rare. We just put, um, we have some bike gloves that we put on um, that'll protect us from the claws or beak and we, we get them to latch on and um, kind of gently pull as much as we can um, and pull them out that way. One solution, cover your chimney. So are you yes, going so to do anything differently? Yes, I am. I'm going to have the, the chimneys covered immediately. Because she knows owls live in the trees near her home. We can hear them at night talking, you know, you know doing that hoo, hoo, hoo at night. We can hear them. And for those who think city living means no problems. Don't put anything past the fact that animals will wander into your yard or come down your chimney at any time. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.